guys, welcome back to a brand new Let's Play. I'm Raw Danger, and this time we're going to be kicking it off on some Quantum Break. This is a very hyped game of mine. I love the studio Remedy. They made great games like Max Payne, if you ever played those games. I never recorded them, but I did play all of them. And I played Alan Awake, and as an awesome incentive bonus for this game, you got Alan Awake and all the DLC for free. Boom, right there, uh, boys. You got the game. Which is really nice and cool. I did happen to start this game once. I played it through the first 20 minutes. We're going to be playing on hard, by the way. But somehow my Elgato got a weird error message that I've never seen before. It said I ran out of space on my hard drive when I had 200 gigs on my... C drive, which just is my, just my operating system. I don't put nothing on it so it doesn't go crazy. My D drive, which I have 900 gigabytes free. And my external, 1 terabyte, which I have 700 megabytes free. Like, I don't get it. Actually, I have 547.9 from the what my Elgato is showing as we speak. The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. And I just wanted to note that my webcam may not work i'm still having trouble with it i'm still working with elgato it works every now and then it's a little bit of a bitch Growing fracture leading to the end of time we went after a device that could fix it things turned ugly paul scream was there to stop us he has superpowers jack and we got both we failed jack and of course Time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? God, the facial expressions are just okay. so good for this game. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived. Monarch Solutions. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Scream. He wanted to show me what he was working with. October 9, 2016, 4 a.m., 15 minutes prior to fraction, fracture in time. Yeah, fuck off, you wank. All the actors in this game, I just want to say, are phenomenal actors. And what I do want to show note, prior to playing my first 30 minutes of this game, didn't make it far at all, barely made it in the Act 1, and there's a lot of collectibles. I am not going to be reading them, been away for but I will years. be looking for well, them, I, I can touch, promise you. Well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. I'm gonna dip back for a second. Good morning. Good morning, Bucko. I think my game's more loaded in this time than last time because stuff's actually looking nicer than last time when I previously played this. I guess I should go find Paul. I guess we're gonna run Baywatch style. With these tickle bitties. Oh, Jack, just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right through this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Yeah, you can say that. I did miss one, one single thing out of everything last time. Some protest. So I'm gonna double check as we move forward. 
and see what I missed last time. Hey, do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Yeah. How about I show my hard metallic thing in your ass, man? Hey. I like finding collectibles, and I like showing, because I like to go for 100% runs on games when I play them. That's more my style. Hold on, I'm going to move the webcam over in front of me a little better. Okay, that looks, that looks better. I don't like the lighting of my house. That's something I'm work, getting ready to work on. And I am currently working on getting a green screen. Which to me is going to be awesome as fuck. Protests seem like a lost cause. Made me sympathize with the students. I'm not going to go all the way up yet, but I am going to circle through, see what all I can find. See all my narratives. Because we like narratives. Oh, hey. Hey, baby. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. Hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. Well, let's fucking ask her. All right, what's going on here? Okay. Why she got a lazy how eye? How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking Monarch the Studios is like they're taking a dump on our shaft? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're going to tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city, and everybody's completely blind to it. No, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> exactly. You enjoy tapping that sweet ass, girl. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto Anyone else that uh, follows the channel and anything I'm currently working on, please let me know in the comment section below if there's anything I missed, if there's any like cool little Easter eggs, and also if you're enjoying this uh, Let's Play. So far, it's getting a lot of great reviews. A lot of people are saying towards the second half. I haven't personally tried to see no gameplay on it. I don't want to spoil anything for me. That's just how I play. The less I know, pretty much the better. I do listen to reviews for games though, but I don't go off of reviews for games because one of one of my top favorite games is The Order 1886, and everyone hated it. But everyone's saying this is Xbox's 18 Order 1886, exactly which I thought The Order 1886 was fucking phenomenal, even though it was like four hours long. Just to see a research project. Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. He needed a friend. I wanted to help. You got a friend in me. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. That's the guy that's the evil man from Maze Runner. Shut up and bring him in. Welcome home. Six years. Now we're starting to think he'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. Myers Research Facility. Paul Serene is a douchebag. 
First class, thank you for that. Step up from our van trip to Utah. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. Incident? Jesus, Will. What did you do this time? So far, we're at 10 out of 16. Nice, 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 nice. You want your doctor sizzle? You bet it'll sizzle that sweet ass, girl. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. <laughs> That's a knack, all right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what your investor said. <laughs> There's more to this than you're letting on. What about my brother? Still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then Jack, man. I could be tight lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh why do I smell one of your long winded presentations on the horizon? Booyah! I would never. Perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. <laughs> Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive is a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a Rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which flow an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant pretty big steady progression of time. Find a for your brother. Here at Project Promenade. We have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more. But that's enough of a primer for me. It's a wower for me. I mean, that's got me interested. I love space and stuff like that. So like, to me, that is an awesome is thing. <gasps> you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring into replacing him. I'm starting to feel like there's false, um, collectibles, is, I guess what I should say. Because there's a few I go up to it don't give me a narrative, like, response thing. Not unless it's just bugged. And I really, really hope not, because that's just going to piss me the fuck off. Like, the colors and, like, the contrast of this game is, like, phenomenal. Welcome to Project Promenade. Ooh. Oh, I'm literally, like, less than ten minutes ahead from here, so. See, I did not make it far. And I actually searched more last time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. I'm your guy. Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... Well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. He scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works. But they're gonna cut our funding if I don't... Oh, titties. 